Well, welcome to this short step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the UT Extension Online Learning or Extol Workforce Learning Site. This site is geared to the professional development of Tennessee Extension professionals. So uh, let's get started. This is the front page of the site, what we're looking at here. You can see there's uh, course categories listed on the left-hand side. There's uh, a link to this tutorial uh, in the midsection, as well as a short uh, presentation on what you should expect from the site, site information, and, and, and how to complete each course. Uh, also, to the, uh, to the right here, there is uh, links to Super uh, and Extol Frequently Asked Questions web page, so you can click this link here to get to that. And uh, any calendar events that may apply to a Tennessee Extension or to you individually. Okay, um, one of the things that I did want to point out is you can simply log in right here, click in that link. You'll be presented with uh, a dialog box. Uh, depending on if you've been here before, it'll automatically populate your net ID and the username field. And just type in your net ID password and click log in. That will take you to, well, what looks like the screen that you were just on, but you can see how some things updated based on my user profile and what I've already accomplished on the Extol Workforce Learning site. Number one, you can see that my courses are listed. It's not just a generic list of the course catalog. I'm enrolled in these two courses, so they're listed here. I could get back to that course catalog by clicking All Courses and then looking for a particular topic I'm interested in. Everything else pretty much stays the same except for upcoming events. You can see there's a quiz that's going to close that I need to uh, do by December 31st. So that's something I will definitely need to pay attention to. But how do I enroll in perhaps a new course, a new online program, or a, a new tutorial that interests me as a Tennessee Extension professional? Well, if I scroll back over to my left here, um, uh, I can see the courses I'm already enrolled in. I can click All Courses, and let's say I wanted to enroll in the Program Planning and Evaluation course. Well, here that would be under uh, HR Topics. It will give me a, you are about to enroll yourself as a member of this course message. Are you sure you want to do it? And I'll click Yes. And here I am within the course. I'll be able to um, post any questions to a question and answer database related to the course. I'll be able to navigate the course from its course menu. And I'll be able to check my grades in this particular course or edit my profile. If this particular course had a calendar, I could see any events related, related to, uh, to this online in-service. And what I do is uh, just scroll down. You can see Lesson Topic 1. I just click on this link here, and it will open up a separate online learning module, Module 1 for this course. Complete it. Do the same here so on and so forth until I get to the uh, actual post test and uh, and then to the completion certificate. Now one great thing about Extol is once I achieve whatever score uh, that I need to achieve for the test and uh, spend the necessary amount of time in the course I'll be given access to this completion certificate. I'll be able to click on it and once I click on it, I'll be able to print it out, so I'll have proof of uh, my completion. But you don't have to manually enter your completions in Super. Uh, Extol actually is connected to Super, and it will automatically record any online learning professional development uh, completions or trainings that you've done uh, in Super for you. So no worries there. If you ever wanted to uh, leave the, this course or any course, you can simply click on uh, this uh, main button. It's kind of like a breadcrumb navigation to where you can click on the link and uh, be back at the front page. That's about sums up Extol. I hope you enjoy professional development.